it's been a little while, but here I am back. Found a couple of videos that I could start trying to put together and try to throw on here, but there's just not much to be filmed when I'm not traveling. We do have these food ones, which are pretty cool. Last week, my buddy came by and he said he had this amazing new tonkotsu ramen from this manufacturer, Pul Pulmo One. I believe that's how you say it, at least that's how it sounds like they say it on their YouTube channel. And it's a Korean manufacturer, so it is some Korean ramen. And it's the tonkotsu flavor, which I love. He brought it over, really, because it was different from your average instant ramen. It wasn't just that, like, throw the seasoning packet and water and noodles into a bowl and just let it wait. It's actually, it came in different packets and it was the soup was on its own the noodles was on its own and then they had like dried seasonings not seasonings i'm sorry dried vegetables like onions and items along those lines it also had fresh meat in it the chashu which was crazy and so the, it came with all the essentials you need for kind of like a decent bowl of ramen because of that we were able to put it all together just real quickly and i asked maybe we should doctor it and he agreed so we added uh, half boiled eggs or soft boiled eggs I believe it's so it's the onsen tamago that you get typically with your ramen we also added bok choy we added bean sprouts corn mushrooms anoki mushrooms in particular and <laughs> put it all together and then had kind of a, a tasting with everyone in the household it was really amazing i have to say it was it was interesting that he was able to find something really cool plus he found it at Costco, of all places. Now, Pomone, or Pomol One, is definitely a large company, because they're based in Korea, and then they have a U.S. branch. So, I, I don't know where else you could find it. It was, I believe he said $12, $13 for uh, two servings. The servings aren't the largest, but if you doctor it the way that we did, then you're you're really getting quite a bit of, of food per dish. But anyhow, let's go ahead and swap over to the taste test portion of this bad boy. All right, so Ben found a ramen at Costco, right? Yep. It's a Pulmone Tonkatsu Ramen. It's a Korean company, apparently. And it's kind of neat because it comes really fresh rather than like that instant ramen that you need to cook. And uh, we doctored it up quite a bit Then wanted to add like corn and we added some bean sprouts and bok choy. But it comes with all the basic necessities of what you do need out of it, which is kind of really nice. Uh, and so, yeah, let's give it a quick shot here. Mmm. Well, it tastes great. It's um not a true tonkotsu type ramen. It, it has like, it doesn't have the meaty flavor. It, it's, it has umami, it's just not the same. Maybe it's the garlic that is lacking. Um, and it, Ben noted that it has a more of a mushroom flavor than, than the like pork flavor, which that could also definitely be it. But it is a Korean version of it. If you look at the fine prints, it says uh, Miso Tonkatsu inspired. Oh. <laughs> inspired. Um, but, I mean, the soup is good. It's super thick. Noodles are good. The funny thing is, is when you're cooking the noodles, it was only like a minute in there, right? It yep. like barely, it barely got cooked. Because um, the noodles actually come fresh and not freeze dried. And actually the whole packaging is quite interesting being that there's like the soup comes in a bag, the meat comes in a bag, and the noodles come in a bag. And then you just add kind of everything in uh, into a pot. There's no water or anything that you need to add to it. And you just keep, uh, you just boil it and then you're pretty much done. Uh, the majority of the time that we took was based on how much doctoring that we actually did to the item. Yep, noodles have a good bite to it. And the soup is very, very rich. 
I think it's um, probably supposed to be a little saltier than what it is, but since we added corn, I'm getting a bit of sweetness in there. Um, and then, oh, Ben experimented trying to make a soft boiled egg. So why don't we get some footage here of seeing how it came out. Let's see if I could do this one handed. And yeah, that looks awesome. Oh, fogging up here, so. All right, and let's go ahead and for the more important part, let's taste it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. It's a real good flavor. All right, well, great job, man. That's This turned out real good. I think there's a golden find. You found, this is almost like a Costco commercial. Everything here is pretty much from Costco. The bok choy was also from Costco, right? I also added a little bit of your fried garlic um, to nice. it. Nice, yeah. I think that, that would be a good addition. I'll probably do that in a second here. Um, but yeah, the, the flavors are great. It's The noodles are nice. Uh, I like katame, so I like harder noodles, and I feel that they came over pretty well. And the the soup's pretty good. What do you guys think? That's great. Yeah. yeah. Really Definitely worth buying again. Mm -hmm. um, how much was it? It's like 13 bucks for two, for two servings. servings? That's, so that's really, really good, good. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you're right, the enoki mushroom does go really well with the soup. Wow, that's like it. Mm. Let's say the eggs are from Costco, the seaweed's from Costco, the bok choy's from Costco. <laughs> yeah. This is just a Costco commercial. Mm. Anyhow, just a short little vid today, and uh, yeah, we're just going to finish up and uh, enjoy our lunch, so until the next one.